Well, when I was at school and being a good little boy and doing my homework and playing sport was a, a good way to keep out of trouble. Forgive the immodesty, but I turned out actually to be a half-decent player. Don't ask me why, but you always had to have a lace-up on, on football shirts in those days. And white shorts, and blue and white socks, and boots that I polished furiously every Saturday morning. If you went out in the field with dirty boots on, you weren't a real footballer. That moment has changed the, you know, the game forever here. It has made Australia as a footballing nation grow, and, um, and it's never going to be the same again. We're over there somewhere, and I'm not joking, but people all around us are actually bawling their eyes out. It was gut-wrenching. It, like, it was like being grief-stricken over a football match. I mean, what's wrong with us? Nothing I've done or seen over the years has diminished football's place in my personal and professional life, and certainly not my view of its importance as an enormous influence around the globe. Not too many people want to acknowledge it, but football's actually bigger than any religion. It's bigger than any political ideology bigger than any economic system around the world. People always ask me why I go on about, about soccer, about football, and I guess it's because for me it's uh, miles more than a sport. I've mean, seen it the way I've seen it all over the world. Um, it's a universal phenomenon, not a game. I don't know that I really understand why I feel as passionately as I do about it, Except that there's a lot to be passionate about, I think. I look at football that's played these days and I wouldn't get a kick in the A-League. I wouldn't get a kick any, anywhere else, I don't think, except in the rear end by the coach.